we are live. Let's see how long the leg is. I just start counting to see when it pops on here. If anybody is in there already, please do let me know if you can hear me okay and if the sound is good and the lighting is good. Oh, we're only about 30 seconds it looks like. That's pretty good. Hi, Cynthia, how are you? I'm a cute few minutes early, but I had to get on and uh, get my Galaxy Customs order in. It went live at nine o'clock for uh, her retail drop of her uh, pre-order stuff. I mean, I just got, hi, Chef Man. Um, I just got my 20 pound box a week ago, but I figured I would wait to go live until her retail drops so I could show this. And if you guys want to go and get some, you definitely could. I can tell you I wasn't fast enough. I missed out on some of the colors that I wanted, but I still managed a lot. Hi, August Starmaline from Germany. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Diane. So while we're waiting for people to pop on, I'm doing this really cool thing. I got a scratch off um, map and I want to mark where my channel reaches in the world. Good morning, Rhonda. Let me just put this down. I'll show you what I mean here. So I got this scratch off map, look at this. So I've already scratched off some places that I know that some of my viewers are from. So I figured as people are popping on, tell me where you are and I'm gonna make a little mark where I'm gonna scratch off later. Hi, Kathy. So I believe I already have Germany, I do. I already have Florida, which I know that's where Barbie's from. I have British Columbia, Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, North Carolina, Alabama, Florida, UK, France, Germany, Portugal, Brazil, India, Indonesia, and New South Wales. So shout out where you're from if I don't have you scratched off here yet. New York City. I do I have I have New York. Yep. Yay. I just thought this would be fun. And I know that I have more than this, but this is just what I could, Ohio, okay. Ohio, right there, let me scratch Ohio. This is so much fun. Plus, it's very satisfying scratching the step away, but Ohio, Arizona, where's Arizona? I do not know, there it is. I don't know my US uh, geography very well, so uh, if I'm a little slow, please uh, bear with me. These are little small areas. I can scratch it all at once. Arizona, Somerset, UK. I have UK. It doesn't break it down into little provinces there, whereas the United States it does. And yay, it's just amazing how small the world actually is now that we have the internet. So keep shouting out your places. And then I will put this away, oh, Wisconsin, 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 right here. Wisconsin. I hope that's Wisconsin. I think that's Wisconsin. It is. Come on, where are the Canadians out there? I need to fill in the Canadian map. I'm from BC, so I live like right here, right there. It looks like we're like getting East Coast pretty good here. Am I missing? Did I get Ohio? Yeah, I got Ohio. We did that at the beginning. How is everybody today? Are we excited to open my 20 pound box from Galaxy Customs? It's crazy. And I think I just ordered another, I just ordered another uh, 12 rolls on her retail drop. I can't wait to show you these colors, but we'll just wait until a few more people are popping in here. Keep shouting out where you're from so I can scratch you off on the map here. Yay. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, this was $20 Canadian on Amazon and I just thought I have one on my wall there for places that I have visited, but I'm like, why not do it for all of our friends in a Facebook land just to see where we all are. So it would be cool if we could get the whole map done. I would really like that, but <sighs> yay. 
So even if you're watching this live after the fact, I will come back and I will look at the comments and I will scratch off where you are from. So make sure you put it in the comments down below where you are so I can mark you on my friends, my bag making friends map. I know I'm a little bit of a nerd, but this excites me a lot. <laughs> Yay. So we'll give it another four minutes and then I'll put this map away. Um, again, keep shouting it out. There goes Coco barking and a dog walking across the thing. Oh, I know, Kathy. The shipping, I don't know. It's just crazy right now. I've got all of Ontario already. Yep. <laughs> Yay, Candace from Ontario. Whereabouts in Ontario are you from, Candace? I'm going to be in Ontario. New Hampshire. Okay, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Where's New Hampshire? Help me out, everybody. New Hampshire, New Hampshire. I do not know my... Oh, New Hampshire. Oh, that's this little itty-bitty place right there. I'm going to you learn my geography really well here. I'm pretty good with Canada, but not so much anywhere else. Got New Hampshire. And how are you doing today, Kelly? I kind of wish that Canada... I think it's by... No, it's not by continent. Canada and the U.S. are the same colors. It would have been nice if we were different colors, but that's okay. Niagara on the lake, nice. I think you've told me that before. <laughs> I have been to Niagara Falls. I will be visiting Niagara on the lake uh, with Anna in June. When we do our Pin It Up patterns marketing and... Um, whatchamacallit? More bag design. Has everybody seen our newest pattern? Shall I grab it? Let me grab it quickly. Step over deck, sir. Actually, I'll wait till the screen goes big and then I'll show. I can show it now. The Aviatrix bag, which is our new pattern by Pinned Up Patterns. If you haven't bought it yet, hop on over to the Galaxy Customs website and grab it now. These are my two aviatrixes i can show you those a little bit more do i have pennsylvania kathy from pennsylvania um i have pennsylvania yay okay another two minutes and then we will do the mail opening so it was mine and dave's 26th wedding anniversary on the 11th and we both had the flu lovely so we are going to spend today celebrating our anniversary we are going to go to a home show because there's some renovations we want to do to the house so what a better romantic way than to go to a home and garden show to check out um some options out there and then we are going to go for kind of a i call it leper it's like a lunch and a dinner um at original joe's which is one of my favorite restaurants and then settle in with the movie tonight i think i think it's going to be really really nice Really nice. All right. Anywhere else I need to scratch off in here? Again, I'm going to have, I should have a pen and paper ready. So if you are coming in late, make sure you give me a shout out where you're from. And then I will mark it down on our bag making friends map here. Nice, Kelly. We're getting nice weather here too. It's actually now starting to cloud over. It was sunny this morning, but we've been getting up to about between 50 and 20 degrees Celsius here. So beautiful spring weather. Hi, Kim. How are you? And um, yeah, we're hoping for a little more rain because we do not want to be on fire again this year. So Okay, so I am going to put the map away again. If you are watching this after the fact, please do let me know where you're from so I can scratch off where you are in the world and I'm gonna bring this out every time I go live and let's try to get it all figured oh did I do Indiana ah let me look quickly Kim Indiana 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 is the is the abbreviation for Indiana I N <laughs> I think it is okay it's next to Illinois am I correct I'm so terrible with the US states Okay, Indiana, let me scratch you off. Indiana. And then we will. Okay, perfect. I got Kim on here now. Let me roll this up and put it back in its tube. 
Where's my tube? There it is. So yeah, this was a really cool thing and I figured 20 bucks. What fun can we have and we can mark off where everything is. Come on, Canada. I need to get Canada filled out. I'm Canadian. We're only Canadians. Pop in that. Okay. So yes, definitely shout out where you're from and I will do that. Okay, let me put this up to my face. All right, so I have been waiting. I got my order, my pre-order from Galaxy Customs a while ago, but I wanted to wait until Anna's, like seriously, look at this box, retail drops. That way when I'm showing stuff, you guys can hop on over there and buy it because there's nothing more frustrating than when you see something and you can't just go get it right away. So I held off. Now, yeah, um, I did open this because I did grab out two of the light pink patinas because I had to make a bag with it and I made this. This is my new work travel bag. This is the Mercury backpack, which I have modified into a um, convertible bag. So I didn't want everything to be, I didn't want it to be just a backpack. So the original pattern has padded backpack straps, but I changed it up a little bit and this bag is awesome. But seriously, look at this vinyl. This is the Patina Distressed in light pink. I loves it. I loves it. So this took two rolls to do this bag. But I'm in love with this so, so much. I do have a tutorial coming out on this. So that'll be next weekend when it releases. Hi, Terry. But yeah, all I did was take the backpack straps off. The sides of this in the pattern actually cinch in. So I made it so it didn't cinch in. So you do have open edges here, but I added crossbody strap connectors. So I crossbody strap when it's open all the way. I added an O-ring here. So it can also act as a backpack. So it changed the backpack into a handbag, crossbody bag, shoulder bag, and backpack. On the inside, it has a huge laptop sleeve. My 13 inch laptop swims in there. I put in two bottle holders on the sides, um, which hold my Yeti, both my Yetis, my coffee and my water bottle. Dave just drove in, so Coco's gonna be <coughs> doing the work for a moment. Let me let Dexter out, one second. Okay, go see Dad Dexter, go on. Dogs get a little bit excited when their daddy gets home. <laughs> so yes, I figured, even though I opened this already, I can at least show it in a finished bag. So this is the light pink patina, the brand new vinyl from Galaxy Customs. And there's some on the website if it hasn't sold out already. So, okay, who wants to see the rest of the box? Let me put this to face down. Okay, it's like seriously, you guys, I spent so much money, but this was a 20 pound box. 20 pounds so let me show you everything I got so let's start with that patina family so this is stormy can you guys see that stormy patina can you see the de-stressness in it it is just so gorgeous and so beautiful to work with I mean I seriously loved making that pink bag so of course I only ordered one roll of these and I really, actually I might've got two rolls of this one. I'm not gonna lie, we started this live at quarter after nine so I could shop and get more of the patinas before she runs out. She will be doing another pre-order she says um, and she actually wanted me to ask everybody when she should do another pre-order. I think she should do one in May just because I um, couldn't get another one of these light oranges one. Look at this light orange. I ended up getting blood orange um, with the retail drop, but I want another one of these. So that's the light orange in the patina. This one here, this is blue jeans patina. So oh, good. So I may have ordered another one of these ones on the retail. <laughs> what else do I got for patina? Oh, this is the green 
patina. See, I went crazy. If you need, let me type in the Galaxy Customs website here in case you guys want to go shop. Her retail drop of what's left just went live 25 minutes ago. So she has limited quantities of these. So if you want it, go and buy it right away. There's the website right there. So yeah, I've already gone ahead and I've placed my order because I just bought one roll of each to kind of see what they were about because I didn't know what they were. And again, I am loving them. What else do I have in patina? I don't even know what I ordered. Um, no, no, I'm looking. I want to kind of keep with the same kind. Uh, this box is so big. <laughs> What's this? Those are pearls. Oh well, if we come across more, we'll come across more. Okay, so that's the patinas. Now she did um, get another line of her Lux vinyls. You know her suede vinyls? She's got the Lux brand or the Lux kind. She did end up in her pre-order and in her retail drop getting something she calls Dulux. And it's a slightly thicker suede vinyl. And seriously, so pretty. That's the bubblegum pink. And it's kind of got the suede-like feel, but it's slightly thicker than her regular Lux vinyls. I haven't sewn with it, but I'm excited to. So I got that one. Sorry for Coco. She'll she'll calm down in a moment. Let me see. Did I get any other Lux finals? Oh yeah, yeah. I got one called Olive Oil. And it's kind of a greeny. Can you see that? It's kind of like a almost like a greedy gray color. That makes sense. Oh, it feels so nice. So yeah, on the retail, I only ordered Deluxes because that added up really fast. Um, or the, the patinas. But I think when she does her next pre-order, I'll be learn loading up on these Deluxes as well. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else do I got that are along those lines? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I got more Lux vinyl. Oh yeah, I did. I got the Jade Deluxe vinyl. Hi, Lynette from Tampa, Florida. I have a Florida marked off on my map already too. Yay. This was retail therapy, I swear. So this is the Jade Deluxe vinyl. So again, she's got two kinds of vinyls on her website. She's got the Lux and she's got the Dulux. And the difference is the Deluxe is just a slightly thicker, um, which I'm happy for because the Lux is, they sewed great on my industrial, but I was always scared of it eating up. And just with that little extra thickness, I know it will be fine. So these are the patinas. These are the deluxes. And then the rest of this, do I get any more of that stuff in here? Okay. Now we're moving into some of the, I don't believe I spent this much. Yeah, it was shopping therapy, I tell ya. Okay, so one thing Anna is doing is with her um, pre-orders, she's offering my favorite pearls in 18-inch rolls. Um, I believe she probably has some on her uh, retail drop already, already cut out. I'm not 100% sure, but usually it just comes in 12-inch rolls, but she did um, end up offering them on the pre-order in 18-inch rolls. So I'll show you what I got. I got the green bean pearl vinyl that was named after me. My favorite color is green and my name is Bean. We know this. So I just did a restock of my pearls. So there's the green bean in 18 inch roll. This is the baby blue pearl vinyl. I'm gonna open these all the same way. It's just so good. I had pretty much depleted my stash of the pearls and I just love the pearls so much. I got the amethyst pearl for those purple lovers. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, I got the 18 inch of the obsidian pearl, which is a gorgeous gray. I'll show you guys what some of these look like. Um, so 
Again, I'm showing the Aviatrix bag, which is mine in Adam's second pattern. And an example of the pearl vinyls is the red in this one. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, if you're shopping or even if you want to pick up the pattern, you can find our patterns. We have two of them, the Up and Away and the Aviatrix. They are on the Galaxy Customs website. But this is what that pearl vinyl looks like all sewn up. And then I have my other Aviatrix bag here. Of course, I got some glitter vinyl, which I'll show you. I got some of that in the bag. But this here is the pearl vinyl as well in the hot rod gold. So it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous vinyl. Okay. What else do I got for pearls in my box here? Let's dig in. Um, this is slightly different green. This is the lime green pearl vinyl. That's the color you can see compared to the deeper green bean. I ordered way too much, I think. <laughs> glitter, that's glitter, that's glitter. Ooh. And this is my last of the pearl vinyls. So this is the Lagoon pearl vinyl. I've sold so many bags with this Lagoon, but seriously. In comparison to the baby blue, you can see they're slightly different. I love the Lagoon. Okay, so that is the patinas, the deluxes. She also has Lux, which is a little bit of a thinner of this faux suede vinyl, and then the pearls. And that I'm in, oh, okay, Apollo Beach, awesome. Okay, and then what I have left in here is glitter vinyls. So I got, I love my glitter vinyls. This here, I believe it's called I don't remember. This was toxic green glitter vinyl, maybe. That's what this Aviatrix is made out of, and it's got the gold glitter in it. So nice. I mean, it's actually, it's a little bit sticky when you sew with it, but not like a lot of other vinyls. I find this one is a lot easier to turn with um, these glitters than um, a lot of other vinyls. It's sticky, but not as sticky, so. Okay, so this is the Poker Chip Pink Vegas Glitter Vinyl. So it's kind of got red and fuchsia glitters in it. So I haven't done a Galaxy order in so long. I just went nuts. Uh, so I actually got four rolls of this because I do have an order for two bags in this. So I got four rolls of it. I went crazy on the poker chip pink apparently three four it's so pretty um what else did i get Ooh, i got a couple rolls of this this is the pinup pink i have a bag i actually have made in pinup pink let me grab it and i will show you guys what it looks like sewn up okay i've got a couple So this is a Little Georgie by Kate Co Designs. I have a tutorial on this one. This one I made in Pin It Up Pink uh, Glitter Vinyl and the Macaroon Pearl Vinyl. They, they just pair so nicely together. So that was two of Galaxy Customs Pin It Up Pink or Pin Up Pink Glitter and Macaroon Pearls. Um, here is another bag I made in all glitters. This is the Little Yana by Sewing Arts. And I did this one in Wedding Chapel white glitter vinyl. Can you see the glitter in that? And the Black Dice glitter vinyl. So glitter vinyl is just, I don't know. I like to use them in like these vintage looking bowler bags because I think they just look super, super cute. <laughs> okay. We're actually almost done in this box. So I got two things of the pinup pink because I had used it all up. Oh my gosh, I gotta find home for all this. Um, I got two of the Lucky Dice Glitter. Again, that's what I used in this bag here. So that's two of those. And then I never ordered this one before, but it is a super nice. Um, this is the Atomic Aqua Vegas Glitter. And look at those blues in those glitters. So pretty. And I got two of those. So I actually, 
My box was filled with just pretty much restock stuff, but it's been so long since I've done a Galaxy mail opening and I've never ordered a box this big before. Like seriously, look how big <laughs> this box was. Um, 20 pounds. My son grabbed it from the door and was like, mom, what did you buy? So yeah. So again, she has um, her retail drop right now. So if you want any of these, make sure you hop on over there. She's got limited supplies of them. Let me put this back up to my face. There we go. While I put all of this away. I just love the vinyls. And of course, I just went and bought another 12 rolls. Because um, I only got the one of each of these. I needed to... I really needed to get some more of the patinas. Because I think right now, for my favorite vinyls, patinas and pearls are tied. I can't express enough how amazing the patinas were to work with. Okay, I gotta just kind of adjust my screen here because for some reason, there we go, there we go. So yeah, patinas are amazing. They're not thick, but they're not something an industrial machine will eat, out, eat up either. Doing my mercury bag there, it was, it was a dream to sew with. I just loved it, loved it. Now the glitters and the pearls are thicker vinyl, so make sure I did test them. I do have a video somewhere testing them on my Juki 2010Q for how many layers you can sew through. They did not too badly. So yeah, that's it. It was kind of anticlimactic now because now it's all done. <laughs> it was a great box. I will not tell you how much money this was. <laughs> it went crazy. Good thing it's a new year and a new budget for my business. So that was a lots of fun to do. Lots of fun to do. Hey, as soon as we have Barbie from Genie's Designs here, make sure you check out, she just did a tutorial on the Aviatrix as well. So there's my tutorial, um, uh, Kite Co Creates, uh, Jill did a tutorial on this, Sandra of Sewing Room McGarner did a tutorial on this. So we're really proud of this bag, really, really proud of this bag. So we hope that you go out and buy it. If you do end up buying this, you have any issues or need a little help, you can always message me. I'm always willing to help out with the sewing. Cynthia, I love Anna's vinyls as well. Yeah. Yay, that's it. That didn't take very much time. <laughs> Half an hour. Um, any uh, newbies or new people that have popped in that need to tell me where they're from so I can mark it off on our friends map. That would be great. Yay. Do you guys want me to show you the Galaxy Customs website and all of the colors you can buy? I mean, I didn't buy them all, but. Or you could just go to the website and do that yourself. <laughs> Yay. Um, what else to talk about? Um, we have classes started last week for April on Tuesdays. We are doing the, what are we doing? Oh, the Rosie Sling Bag by, actually we're, both of our patterns are from Knotted Threads. So we got Knotted Threads, uh, the Rosie Sling on Tuesdays, and we're doing the Aries um, Bag on Thursdays. So those classes started. Okay, so I got Winnipeg. I think I had Manitoba marked off already. Winnipeg. I lived in Winnipeg for three years. I lived in St. Vital in the Meadowood area. Uh, Texas. I'll make sure I mark Texas off on the map. Awesome. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Rach. Yay. So yeah, besides that, nothing too exciting. Dave and I leave on our Alaskan cruise in two weeks. That's actually our anniversary present as well as my birthday present. My Our anniversary was April 11th. My birthday is May 1st. So we will be on an Alaskan cruise, a Holland America Alaskan cruise um, from April 28th to May 5th. Super excited. Glad I have children in university, so I have house and dog sitters, so we don't have to worry about leaving a house empty. The dogs and the cats will be taken care of, so it, it, we're super excited. Never have I ever been on a cruise before, so I'm really excited to do that. I have never ever been to Alaska, so that'll be a lot of fun as well. We're going to go whale watching, and yeah. I'm most excited about going to Ketchikan. I'm not too sure why. I think it's because my grandparents said that they had gone to Ketchikan. You can't drive there, but they used to drive up to Prince Rupert and then catch a ferry to Ketchikan, I think. So 
I think it's just in my head that I need to go there because my grandparents have gone there. So, But besides that, that is really all of the exciting stuff for April between classes and I'm trying to get a backlog of tutorials. So while I'm away, I still have my weekly tutorial launching for everybody. Um, I only have, what do I have? I have one more bag to make for the trip. So that pink bag I made for myself and I made Dave a, um, a sling backpack, the um, Can Do Crafts Retro Tech bag. I just finished making him one of those for his Alaska bag. Hi, Diane. And now I just have to make Dave a toiletries tote. We don't travel very often, so um, getting these travel bags is good. And he has decided he wants a Juniper toiletries tote by Blue Kella. Now I do have a tutorial on the old way of like, so the Juniper Toiletries tote, she had the original pattern and then a year or so ago she revised it. So I have a tutorial on the original pattern, but she completely changed the construction of it. So I think I might make another tutorial of the revised version of that as well. So there'll be two different ways of doing that on my channel. So that's the plans for the month. Yay. <laughs> And then camping season starts up in May, so we've already booked our campsites for May long weekend. Uh, we're going to go to Canuff Lake just outside of Kamloops here, so we're excited for that. My whole family, aunts, uncles, cousins go, and my cousin just graduated from university, so we're going to celebrate her up there as well. So, yay. That's it. That's really all I have to report. I know I don't go live very often. Well, I do for classes, but not to the public side, so... Yay! Any questions about anything? Any of the vinyls you want to see again? I only had the one box to open. I spent all my money on that vinyl box, so I haven't really ordered much else from anywhere else. 95% <laughs> of my bags I make in um, in Galaxy Customs vinyls are my favorite. Galaxy Customs and MLI bags. I have a few things from So Yours. Yes, they are on the Galaxy website here. I'll get you a link here. Let me... Um, let me, it's called Patina Distressed Vinyl. Here, here's the link. One sec. Ah, where'd you go? This link that I'm posting right now should take you straight to that one. So when you go to her, let's see. Do you know what? Let me share my screen with you guys. And I'll try to show you where you can find it. Uh, let's see if this works. Desktop sharing. Oh, there, there's me everywhere. Okay, Patina Distress. So if you go to her website, she has a retail drop there. If you go to, is it under new arrivals? Yes, if you go to new arrivals and you'll see here, the second row, Patina Distressed Vinyl, it says white. Oh wait, but if you click on that, it'll take you to the page and then she has all of these colors. If they aren't sold out I ordered myself what did I order I ordered I ordered another blue jean so I'll have two rolls I ordered the milk chocolate chocolate the caramel the light orange I wanted but it's sold out uh, I ordered two more of the light pink I don't remember what I ordered I ordered a mocha I ordered two blood orange I ordered another Stormy, so I'd have two. I ordered another Green, so I would have two. I ordered the Ro Rotan. Look at this color, guys. Like, seriously. Oh, heavenly. Heavenly. Um, if you were wanting to buy our patterns, so you'll see at the top here, it says Pin It Up Patterns. When you click on there, you will see our whole two patterns. There they are. Yay! So the Aviatrix bag and the Up and Away bag both have multiple tutorials. My tutorial is in the pattern. They're free tutorials as well as uh, check out Barbie at uh, Genius Designs and Sandra at uh, Sewing Room McGarner. They have Up and Away handbag tutorials. And then for the Aviatrix, we have Jill Benson of Kite Co Creates, Barbie, and Sandra have all done tutorials on this one. Sandra did a live sew of the Aviatrix on a domestic machine. So um, she could she showed us that it is definitely um, domestic machine friendly. 
Uh, just if you're on the domestic machine, make sure that the center divider you do in, in cottons or lighter fabrics. Um, even if you're on an industrial, it just makes boxing those corners a lot easier. Um, uh, Lynette says, I love the little Yana plus your newest bag patterns to die for a great date night bag. Yeah, the, the, my newest, the Aviatrix, this one here. Yeah. He loves them. I could give you guys, I'll show you, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll give you a tour of it. Let me put this down. And if you don't want to see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one, here we go. My mess here. So. Again, this one I did in all Galaxy Customs vinyls. So you can see it's a smaller crossbody bag. On the back, you have a zipper pocket. It's just a little one. A little itty bitty one. We're so proud of this bag. So when you open up this first flap, so it's double flaps that each enclose a section. So when you open up this one flap, it opens up. This is what I'm saying. See how I use vinyl for my divider here? I don't recommend doing that. I, I just did. <laughs> Especially if you're on a domestic. Use use lining fabric or something in there. Trust me, it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, so we got a zipper pocket and just a nice big open compartment there. And that's held together with magnetic snaps. And then in this other compartment, you open up and we have a large center divider pocket. Again, when you're doing this, don't do what I did. Do not use the vinyl here. It's doable on a, like using vinyl for that center divider is definitely doable on a um, industrial machine. You will cry if you use vinyl for that center divider on a domestic machine. So strongly recommend using a lighter uh, materials for the divider pocket. We do stress that in the pattern. I just, I did a brandy, you know. Anyways, that opens up, that center divider pocket opens up to a very large pocket. And on the outside of that divider, we have a slip pocket, which also has eight card slots right there. And then I have a large slip pocket here. And you can put the slip pocket on the front or on the back, whichever you prefer. But yeah, and that's still, it's, it's a large small bag, if that makes any sense. So this was another one that I made. This one I did in a So Yours printed vinyl. I don't remember what this vinyl is called, but it's on the So Yours website and I use pearl vinyls. And you can see how you can do some color blocking with it. Like this one, I did the overlays in a different color where this one I did it in the same color. And I believe I did this one. I have my slip pocket in the back again. The vinyls for boxing the corners of this if you use vinyl in your divider pocket you may cry a little bit it is doable but i myself just really needed it to be vinyl <laughs> and when you open up this one see we've got the zipper pocket i put in the front of this one and the card slots and then the large zipper pocket as well we're just and you can see look how see the box corners in there they turned out really good and what's unique about this is a lot of times when you have a divider in the purse, you can reach underneath into the other compartments. This one is fully enclosed, so nothing will slide from one compartment to the other. They are two completely separate compartments. We have this one labeled as an advanced beginner to intermediate. Take it slow, follow along with the tutorial, you'll be fine. Shoot me an email, shoot me a message. If you're not, I'll help you along. That's what I'm here for. You know, I love to help and I love to teach. So yeah, that's the Aviatrix handbag. Plug our pattern a little bit there. It's, uh, we are happy with the response of, of the people getting these. So please, please go buy it. Help us get encouragement to start a third pattern. It's a lot of work. I do not know how people design handbags on their own because, um, Anna and I do it together and I don't know if I could do it by myself. It's, it's, it's hard, <laughs> but we make a great team. So we actually have ideas for our third pattern. Um, so hopefully we start working on that soon. Plus, uh, at the beginning of June, I am headed over to Ontario to Anna's place. We have some marketing stuff that we want to do there. 
uh, together and then um, we are going to go to her parents' cottage where there's no internet, no cell service, nothing. And we have five days of just designing bags. We want to be able to get a few ideas out together um, for the next year's worth of patterns. So we really, really do thank all of you for your support as we go into this new venture. Anna, of course, is the owner of Galaxy Customs. It's no, um, it's no secret, she is my bestie. Um, I will say for the vinyls, I don't love these just because they are her vinyls. I actually met her vinyls before I met her. So <laughs> my first love was her vinyls and then we became good friends through the bag making community and she's just a wonderful human and I love her to bits. So yeah, so that's it. Anything else that you guys want to see? We've only been in here for about 45 minutes, but I think is everybody shopping? I see Diane got the caramel and the chocolate of the patinas. So check out, if you like the faux suede type ones, check out her deluxe and her luxe suede as well. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Yay. What's everybody's sewing plans this weekend? Are we sewing? What are we sewing? Can't wait for it to catch up. chat has gone silent I can give you guys some hearts let's play with this a little bit is it gonna work there we go I just love that we can do that we can do some thumbs up is it gonna work it's not working <laughs> YouTube has those funny things like when you can do certain things it'll make the hearts apparently when you do a thumbs up it's supposed to do something thumbs up it's not working oh well Diane, you already used your caramel. What did you make? You Oh, Kathy just bought the peach, berry, and denim blue. Nice. Oh, Rach is working on a how you doing. I have two how you doings. Let me grab them. <laughs> Yay. So last month's class was the how you doing baller bag. So these are my tutorial and my class how you doings. And in the classes and in the tutorials, we change these to bound finishes so it's a super fun bag so this kitty cat vinyl is from Emmeline bags she has a new line of printed vinyls and this friends vinyl because I mean you can't not have a how you doing bag in friends vinyl this is from fan girl fabrics up here in Canada where you can pre-order that but it's a lot of fun as well so I just loved making these bags uh, Diane, the pink, this is the light pink patina that I did my Mercury in. I just love it. When I bought, ordered another two rolls at nine o'clock, there was still some left. So I was very sad that there was no light orange. It makes me cry. I wanted light orange, but I got one roll. So I'll make something with it. Maybe I'll make a Mr. Heckles with it. Ooh, next month's classes are Mr. Heckles and the neo crossbody so i gotta do tutorials for both of those and class bags for both of those Ooh, now my brain is going where do you purchase your solids from um galaxy customs they're all from galaxy um yeah this here is the Can it's called canuck vinyl this solid um it's very domestic machine friendly this one is the loon black i want to call it so yeah, so the Canuck vinyl line is what I use for my main solids. This one here, this was just, this is a really heavy vinyl. I just got this at Fabricland, Fabricland in a, um, kind of in a sale clearance bin type, type thing, but yeah. Um, but my solid vinyls, I buy mostly from Galaxy Customs. And if they don't have them there, I get, I use the Rex vinyls from Emmeline Bags. Those are my go-tos for my solid vinyls. Any other questions about where I buy my stuff? I said the majority of the time I am Galaxy Customs, Emmeline bags for all of my hardware and some of my vinyl. So I kind of mix my vinyl up between Galaxy and Emmeline bags. Um, probably 75% Galaxy, 25% Emmeline bags for the vinyl. 
All of my hardware is always from MLI bags. My zippers and zipper pulls are probably 90% of the time from Blue Kella, but I also sometimes get that from MLI bags as well. Um, you can see I, I stick strictly to, <laughs> I, I primarily use Canadian, but I am Canadian. And of course, shipping from US to Canada. Oh, they got to do something about the shipping costs in our in North America because it is killing us. I remember when it used to be cheap to ship stuff, but that is the world today. Um, vinyls. If I am shopping from American sources, I love like this is so yours. I love Melissa's vinyl as well. Um, she actually sent me this vinyl as a present, which was super nice. And I loved being able to test it out for her. I actually have an order coming from her because she just launched a new waterproof canvas line. So my friend Lisa and I, um, we went together to order um, a large order from So Yours to get some of the new waterproof canvases. And uh, it's been sent to Lise. We just split our shipping. And Lise lives uh, a little ways away from me, but she's going to be coming into Kamloops. So we will get together for Kamloops, uh, for coffee or something when she's visiting here. And she'll give me mine. And I will do a mail opening of the stuff that I did order from So Yours. So and that's what I do is with my friends when we do want to order from the states and we have a large order then we kind of do a box together and we split the shipping and then that kind of helps uh split up that cost so she has it at her home in osoyas right now so she's already taken a picture and has been petting them and told me that they're gorgeous so hopefully within the next month or so i will have them here and then i can show you what i bought from so yours i must congratulate my friend melissa so yours for opening her first brick and mortar shop oh I got to get to Florida to go visit it. I mean, it's a bag maker's shop. So she has all of her vinyls. She's got her waterproof canvases, all of her amazing hardware, her webbing. She's, ugh. she needs to move to Kamloops and then I can go work for her. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So Melissa, when you're watching this, congratulations. I'm so proud of you, my friend. Any other questions before we call it? Now that I know that Dave is home, I know that he's going to want to um, start our anniversary day of fun. Yay! <laughs> Diane, let's go on a girl's trip. Let's go to Florida. Diane is a friend of mine. Actually, Diane, we will be meeting in June, I hope. Yay. Diane is actually one of uh, the, the Pin It Up Patterns testers, so... She lives in Ontario, so Anna and I are planning on meeting up with her. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yay. Road trip. Okay, let's all go. Let's get a bus and just go. Florida's not that far away, right? Yes, only way far away. I did enjoy my trip to Florida last off September. Yeah, where Anna and I went to So Magical Expo. It was so much fun meeting a whole bunch of you um got to meet lauren and Brittany. i met barbie barbie was the first person we met it was amazing um sandra i met shanova uh monica who else there's lots of people yeah <laughs> i don't know if we will be going i i want to go to florida in september or october i really do want to go and visit melissa i'm hoping that I can talk Anna into going with me because I do not travel alone well. Um, I get lost easy. As you can see, I do not know my U.S. geography at all. Um, so hopefully, and then that trip would be primarily uh, to go and visit our friend Melissa down in, is it Dunnelin? Am I saying that right? Dunnelin, Florida? Is that where her shop is, I believe? So yeah. And I really want to see an alligator. Last time I was in Florida, we sat by the ponds at a resort waiting for an alligator to come and it never did and we sat there and sat there and then we thought we saw some bubbles i'm pretty sure it was a turtle but i think anna told me um that it was an alligator because she was just uh really <laughs> tired of waiting for me to see one. Oh, you were at so magical annette were you taking classes were you vending what were you doing i actually got to go and hang out in lauren's classroom for a little while which was nice that she invited us to go and hang out with her and Brittany during her industrials class so that was a lot of fun um 
we were only there for four hours on the Friday. So, uh, so Magical fell at the very end of our trip there. And of course I had a very eventful trip. It took me over two days to get there because my flight was late into Calgary and then I had to stay overnight at the Calgary airport. And then Anna flew straight from Ontario to, um, to Orlando. I was supposed to go from Kalamazoo to Calgary, Calgary to Toronto, meet up with Anna and then fly to Florida. But I got to Calgary, I'd missed the Ontario flight because my Kalamazoo flight was late. And then they sent me on a, I got to go from Calgary, like the red eye flight to California, I think it was. And then I wanna say it sent me to, oh, I don't know. I'd have to look at the map, Alabama maybe. I don't know. It sent me like so many places. And then I finally, I think I had like three different flights I had to catch before I even got into um, Orlando. And I was up for like 48 hours straight. I was so tired. <laughs> but it was an adventure and it was fun. And I got to go to a couple different states that way, right? Even if it was just airports. Oh, I got to go to Texas too. That was just the airport. But Texas, I don't know, all down in that Orlando area wherever it was so oh Lynette we were hanging out with Chinova and all of them too I wonder if that was in um Sawyer McGarner's little uh bending area we were hanging out there for quite a while I met Arnetta there who else did I meet? oh I don't know lots of people lots of pictures were taken but you never know if we happen to be down there if we decide to go and we're there around so magical time which I believe is in October maybe we'll stop by again otherwise if we're going to Florida, we're definitely going to go to the new Sew Your Shop and maybe we can plan a meet and greet or something. Everybody can bring Starbucks and we can hang out at her shop. I'm sure she would let us. We just have to buy stuff, right? <laughs> Hopefully that's okay, Melissa. Plan a meet and greet at the Sew Your Shop if and when we go. I will get there eventually. It'll be lots of fun. Oh, Kathy, I missed it. You're making some Devins and Moon Dances for upcoming vendor event. Yay. I only do vending in um, like October, November, December, but <sighs> yeah, it's very people-y vending. <laughs> Anyways, is there any other questions? I hope uh, you guys have ordered your vinyl. I hope you got some of the colors you wanted. I hope some of you go and consider buying the ABHX bag. Please, please, please. Not begging. I just want you all to, I, I get such joy out of seeing people's renditions it makes from the whole two patterns that Anna and I have designed together. And, um, you, you don't understand, I don't know, it just, it's just such a warm feeling inside when somebody likes something that you design. So, um, yeah, yeah, it was Texas to Atlanta. That's right. That's exactly what it was, Lynette. I knew it was an A word. I didn't know if it was Alabama or Atlanta. So it must have been. I think Alabama's further. Yeah. So yeah, it was Texas and Atlanta, the airports. And of course, LA. Because I went to LA, then Atlanta, and then Orlando. And then on the way home, my Toronto to Calgary flight was canceled. So WestJet put me from Orlando to Texas to Calgary to Calgary. It was craziness. Good times. Anyways, go buy the ABHX pattern if you haven't already. Pick up some of those patinas and the deluxes and anything at Galaxy Customs is amazing. That's also where I buy my double-sided tape in case uh, anybody was wondering. You know I like go through double-sided tape like I breathe air. So that is where I buy my double-sided tape. Um, Oh, and that's also where I buy my pretty and pink sew foam. Uh, if anybody's wondering in my tutorials, I have the pink sew foam. All of that's from Galaxy Customs. And then everything else I buy at Emmeline Bags, except for zippers and zipper pulls at Blue Cow. <laughs> that, that's what I do. All right, thank you everybody for joining me for this live of my big 20 pound box of Galaxy Customs vinyl. Um, now I have to go shopping when I just want to sew things. I am glad that I did get to play with the patinas so I could show you guys what it looks like all sewn up because it's just, I can't wait to take this bag on my cruise. I just love it. All right, have a great weekend everybody. Again, um, 
if you made it to the end of this video, if you're watching this later on, or even if the people that are in this live, uh, send me an emoji, whether it's like a world map or, or maybe the flag of your country or whatever. Let me know where you're from in the comments, even if you're watching this after the live, so I can mark you off on my, my friend's map. Um, I want to fill up the whole world. I do, I do, I do. Anyways, thank you everybody for joining me and I will catch you guys on the next